today we are going to discuss about cam profile in which the point number one flat face follower then uniform velocity and having offset distance so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management like share and subscribe so let's take one example to the profile of a cam operating with flat face follower from the following data follower leaps through 40 mm during 60 degree of rotation so this is called as the angle of ascent and this is the stroke length the follower remains at rest for the next 30 degree rotation of the cam so this is the dwell period the follower then descend to its original position during 60 degree rotation of the cam so this is angle of descent the follower remains at rest for the rest of revolution so this is called as the remaining dwell period the least radius of the cam is 50 mm sometimes it is known as the base radius the motion during the ascent and descent is uniform velocity the axis of the follower is offset by 20 mm from the axis of the cam shaft so this is very important data offset distance is given to you if in the problem offset distance is given to you then you have to draw the tangent line so up to here the problem is for the diploma students and now point number eight is particularly for the degree engineering student determine maximum velocity and acceleration of the follower during its ascent and descent if the cam rotates at 200 rpm so this is the summary of the description so now let's start with the displacement diagram so draw the horizontal line the length of this line you can take randomly then draw the vertical line as stroke length is given to you that is 40 mm so draw the vertical line as 40 mm and then draw the horizontal line now start with the out stroke 60 degree so you have to take the scale as 1 centimeter is equal to 10 degree so that the length of this out stroke is 6 centimeter and then dwell period 30 so the length of the dwell period is 3 centimeter return stroke as 60 so the length of this return stroke is 6 centimeter and remaining dwell then you can find 360 minus 60, 30 and 60 so you will get the dwell period 210 degree and the length of this dwell period is as per the scale 21 centimeter but you can't accommodate it so you can use this symbol now divide the outstroke into 6 equal division and give the name as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 draw the vertical line passing through these all points similarly you can do for the return stroke divide it into the 6 equal division give the name as 0 dash 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash and 6 dash and draw the vertical line passing through all these points now as you know that for the ascent and descent the uniform velocity is given to you and so that you have to draw the straight inclined line for the outstroke going towards the upper side and for the dwell period it must be the horizontal line once again for the return stroke or the descent motion it is a uniform velocity so it must be the straight inclined line and then the remaining dwell period so it is the horizontal line so this line must be the dark line in the displacement diagram and give the intersection name as a b c d e and f similarly for the return stroke give the name as g h i j k i so this is your displacement diagram now let's start for the cam profile so randomly take any one point give the name as o now it is given to you minimum cam radius as 50 mm so draw the base circle 50 mm as the radius and here the offset distance is also given to you 20 mm so draw one more circle as offset circle having radius 20 mm and draw the center line which is tangent to this circle and the distance between these two line as 20 mm because offset distance is given to as 20 mm and draw the symbol for the flat face follower that is also given to you and give the name for this point as 0 and join 0 to O so this is your initial reference line so here in the description direction of the cam is not given to you so that you have to assume in clockwise direction so I can put the symbol for the clockwise direction of the cam so if you assume that in the clockwise direction then your angle must be in the anticlockwise direction so start with the outstroke in anticlockwise direction from this reference line so that is 60 degree with the help of the compass then 30 degree dwell and then next 60 degree and remaining period is dwell period 210 now divide this outstroke into the 6 equal division that is called as the ascent angle also and give the name 
as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Similarly, you can do for the return stroke, divide it into the 6 equal division, give the name as 0 dash 1 dash because of here you have given 0 dash 1 dash. So, 0 dash 1 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash and 6 dash. Now, the very important point, offset distance is given to you. So, you have to draw the tangent line passing through all these points 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as well as tangent to this offset circle. So, set the scale such that it is tangent to this offset circle and passing through 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, similarly for the return straw, draw the line tangent to this offset circle as well as passing through 0 dash, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash and 6 dash. With the help of the scale, you can do it. Now, you have to take the distance with the help of the compass 1A and draw the R over here on this red line. So, you will get the point A. Now, remember that this length must be on the tangent line, not on this blue line. If offset distance is not given to you, then this distance must be on the blue line. If offset distance is given to you, then this distance 1A must be on this tangent line. Now, with the help of the compass, take radius as 2B and draw the arc on this tangent line. So, you will locate the B. Similarly, now C3 is the radius. Draw the arc on this tangent line. So, you will locate the C point. Similarly, it is 4D, then 5E, then 6F. So, this is for the out stroke. Now, for the return stroke, similar operation with the help of the compass, take the radius as 0 dash to G. Draw the arc on this tangent line then 1 days h is the radius then 2 days i then 3 days j then 4 days k then last 5 days l now once you got these all points then you can join by the smooth curve in case of knife face follower but here in our problem flat face follower is given to you so one more step that is required that is you have to draw the normal line so, you have to remember in the examination, if flat face follower is given to you, then you have to draw the normal line. So, what do you mean by this normal line? To so, draw the line perpendicular to this red line, passing through the point A, B, C, D, E and F. So, here you can see, this blue line is perpendicular to this line passing through B. This blue line is perpendicular to this red line. So, all these blue line are actually the normal line perpendicular to this corresponding red line. Similarly, you have to do for the return stroke. That means, draw the normal line perpendicular to this red line passing through G, H, I, J, K, L. Now, draw the smooth curve such that all these blue lines are the tangent. So, here you can see carefully these all blue lines must be the tangent. So, this is a very interesting point in case of flat face follower. Then from 6 dash to 0 with the help of the compass you can draw the smooth curve. So, from 6 dash to 0 it is very simple but from 0 to 6 dash you have to take care that the smooth curve must be tangent to all these blue lines. So, this is a chem profile. Now, we are going to solve the numerical part. So, point number 8. Determine maximum velocity and acceleration of the follower during its ascent and descent if the cam rotates at 200 rpm. Here, the motion is given to you for both ascent and descent is uniform velocity. So, you know that in case of uniform velocity, the maximum velocity is omega s upon theta a and maximum acceleration is 0. So, maximum velocity is omega s upon theta. So, you have to find first the omega. So, as you know that omega is 2 pi n upon 60 and is given to you 200 rpm. So, you can put it over here. So, you will get omega 20.94 radian per second. Now, for the ascent, maximum velocity is omega s upon theta. In case of ascent, you have to take theta a that is the ascent angle and this ascent angle must be in radian. So, ascent angle 60 is given to you. So, 60 multiplied by pi by 180, then you will get theta in radian. So, omega you know that, 
as that is the stroke length is given to you 40 mm so you will get the maximum velocity in mm per second because of your stroke length is in mm similarly for the descent maximum velocity is omega s upon theta d where theta d is the descent angle here descent angle is also 60 degree so here ascent angle and descent angle both are same so you will get directly maximum velocity as 800 mm so don't waste the time in the examination if theta a and theta d both are same in case of the different value of theta and theta d then you have to calculate maximum velocity for both ascent and descent and you will get the different value now for the maximum acceleration so in case of uniform velocity maximum acceleration is zero so directly you can write maximum acceleration is equal to zero meter per second for both ascent and descent because it is given to you the motion is uniform velocity for both ascent and descent so thanks my friends